All right, I'm just gonna say it. It wouldn't be possible for any of us to be here today without uh, our little friends. They can be a little slimy, a little sticky. We like to call them sperm. But what happens when there's just not enough of them? Hey doctors, my husband and I have been trying to get pregnant for a year now. Everything is okay with me, but it hasn't happened yet. And we want to know if there's something we can do to help his sperm count. Kai is now joining us, and, and I should clarify my earlier statement, which is, you know, sperm are modal, and they want to do their job. Well, and they get need into an egg, and they got to find an egg, too. But the other stuff, that, that semen, is what nourishes the sperm while it goes on its little journey. Mm -hmm. They're swimmers. So, so the, the sperm themselves aren't sticky, because they need to, they need to get going. They need <laughs> to. But this is a great question, because we've talked more and more on the show about how fertility also... Right, and it's usually what, what happens is we send off for a semen analysis. Mm -hmm. And in that semen analysis, they're going to look at the quality and the quantity and the motility of the sperm. I actually, in my opinion, think almost all men should get a semen analysis at some point because I've found in my practice, and I don't see men, when we do semen analysis, we actually pick up a lot of problems. I've picked up testicular cancer when a couple has come for um, a semen analysis. So it's a good idea to get your guys checked out every once in a and, while. And as part and of that, they screen out. you for those things that you know that can impair those, those mm -hmm. swimmers, right? We know smoking and alcohol, yep. marijuana, other drugs, being overweight, mm -hmm. all those things can affect... Your, so your they, we have to make a lifestyle change to boost those guys up Hi. and just repeat. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, you know, if you're trying to conceive, Dr. Lisa says this all the time, you know, holding off for a few days can build up that sperm count. Because we're constantly, constantly, if everything's going okay, generating sperm. That's right. So that's, I mean, that's what I'm doing guys right now. Bombard those suckers. Yeah, it's yeah. Called, it's called reloading. Yep, exactly. Well, what about what about what you all eat? What do you make for dinner? Does does um, do you guys eat healthy foods? We do oysters sometimes because I heard that gets you. Well, zinc. oysters have so. zinc, which actually can improve the quality of sperm if you're low on zinc, mm -hmm. as well as. Fish is great, loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Walnuts also with those wonderful fats. Because really, you want to increase not only just quantity, you want to increase the quality. It, uh, we, we're, 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 we're trying to make pretty babies, so quality is, is yeah. good. They'll be and pretty on your part. I don't know what the guy looks like. What's going on here, Dr. And so like spinach um, and, and liver's high in vitamin A. It's also mm -hmm. actually high in zinc as well, so that's another yeah. one to add with that. And there's also been some studies to show that mushrooms are rich in selenium, which is also helpful for the sperm. So if I give him all of this tonight, he'll eat it and we'll... It might help, but again, he should see his special, you see the specialist, get a semen analysis, okay. and see what's going on. I should clarify, some of the stuff, it just improves the quality of the semen, not necessarily the sperm right. themselves, but in the end, Kai, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me.